All right, guys, do not adjust your set. This is going to be an update on the backdrop that Joe Raider, Black Rock Central, has been working on for me. And uh, I just got the other building in, and here it is. Uh, it's almost three feet long. But this wall is completely done. completely done. So basically, this is just a warehouse for the uh, HGJ technology a furniture plant. Um, it's just a warehouse. So the center beams that go in there and then the box cars uh, receiving will be here and the shipping will be on that awning down there. And so, and that right there is a truck depot. I'm going to put trucks down there on the corner. So we'll go to the other wall. It is also complete. And it pretty much goes down all the way. And there's the flat drop that I got as well. Um, up here in the corner, we have Lulu. And then with uh, a fascia backdrop and then we got part of Black Rock entrance and then it goes all the way down. You can't make this shit up. I had to move buildings around just to get them the way I want them. So we have the boxcar area where all the boxcars will be loaded and unloaded for shipping and receiving. We then have the area for the silos, for the hoppers, where the hoppers will be unloaded to make the whatever product that's being made in there. And then we have the tank cars to load, unload, uh, I guess, uh, the chemical use in the process of making the plastic or resin. So as you can see, this is one huge service area. And then down on the corner is a staging area for whatever, box cars, tank cars. Now, What's actually going to happen down here is the tank cars that's going to the Mariani and to Jackson Chemicals and the resin hoppers, they're all be going down there. So when I do my, sh my switching, I will do a run around, show these cars in here. Then block the train that needs to go to the front back wall, front wall and to the back wall, block that train, drag that train all the way up to the top of that switch there, and that green right there, shove the train in, but at the same time, I'm shoving in the train and I'm shoving out the train. I'll shove the tank cars on the main and shove the outbound cars into track one or the inbound outbound track, plain and simple come back out, grab the tank cars and the hopper, resin hoppers, and drag that train up here in the clear, just enough clear to switch, uncouple, do a runaround, drag the train out, and then head over there to the Jackson Chemicals and the Mariani. Uh, yeah. It's not going to be that. It, it may sound uh, like a lot of work, but it's not. Then, over here on this back wall, I will grab the center beams and the wood chip cars that's coming from here. They'll be sitting in the yard over here like that center beam. Shove them down there. Grab the whole train. Bring it all the way up here to the yard because I don't want to do any switching out down there on the main. Bring it over here, set it in the inbound outbound yard with the other rail cars, and then sh shove the train back to spot. Sorry. 
Shut up. I got popcorn everywhere from Joe. I got to clean it up in a little bit. But I will then shove everything back over there. So in the process of all of this, it's going to take about an hour, hour and a half of service switching on the front and back total hours and blocking the train. That's not bad. But the center peninsula or the island, um, it pretty much will be the same process. And the peninsula yard is right here going all the way around. Now, you don't see any yard cars in the closet branch because they're all over here in the peninsula yard. And the reason why is because you want to have an uh, abundance of rail cars for processing. To process, uh, for processing and uh, loading the raw materials and uh, goods to be sent to the closet branch. So, there is a train that BNSF over there, if you can't see it, is carrying the outbound, inbound train to the closet branch. And you see that red light is the light for the interchange track. So, when I run that switch, it'll go green on the other side and that light will come off, turn off, which means it's had access to the main. I got to get another signal, so that's the reason why you don't see a green. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a switching operations. Uh, I don't know when because I'm going to be down for the next two weeks. I'm going to have my surgery in the morning. so. And the surgery will be in early in the morning, like real early. And after that, I won't be able to get up for the next two weeks. I'm not even going to try to get up. So I'll have the remote switching, uh, Chi Chi Vision and everything all set up sometime tomorrow after the surgery. Or I'll probably do it tonight before the surgery, before I go into surgery. So um, this is it. So I'm going to be down for a while, guys. But I will keep it live so y'all can have a train run around. I will try to have a friend come over and help me run my trains. So until then, I hope y'all enjoyed this update. Uh, God, I love that backdrop. This one and this one. And once again, if y'all interested in getting you some backdrop build, get in touch with Drill. Just make sure you, you, you get the supplies and send it to him. And uh, he'll take it from there. Just tell him what you want, and he'll do it. So until then, y'all take care. Thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all soon when I am able to get back on my feet. Y'all take care. Bye.